Hello, welcome back to uh, more on uh, mechanics and applications uh, of polar coordinates. So this problem is actually a really cool problem. It's, uh, it, you're given the, the problem of a, you throw a ball off, at some, uh, off a hill, and the hill is at some slope. Um, it's a downward sloping hill, and it's uh, at an angle of beta with respect to the horizon. And the question you're asked is, what is the optimal angle that I should throw the ball off at, or the, this mass off, such that I go as far down the hill before it hits the ground on the hill? Don't, you know, right now, of course, we're just going to worry about it hitting immediately and stopping, not that it rolls down. Um, okay, so uh, how do we set this up? So we have a... a we, if you know that the the trajectory of a projectile from all the other videos you've seen before on physics is such that the trajectory is always a parabola, so let's just you know we're going to start by by setting this up in Cartesian coordinates, okay? So let's say we not launch the ball off at some uh, you know launch it off with some initial velocity v naught. So there's the there's the x component of the um, of the of the velocity, so that initial velocity is going to be v naught times uh, cosine of alpha, and then there's the v in the y direction, which is going to be v naught. Uh, that should be cosine there, and then we have v naught sine alpha. Okay, right? That's just by looking at we have a triangle, and the initial velocity has that is 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 that vector and if this angle is alpha then this length the vector in the x direction is v naught cosine alpha and in the y direction it's v naught sine alpha okay um, and then we know the standard equations of motion we know that for projectiles going in a horizontal direction x is going to equal v naught t nothing there's no acceleration, there's no force on the object in the x direction, so just over time it's going to uh, move, um, and this is of course valid only bef you know, before the ball hits the ground. Um, and then the y direction, it's going to be the initial position, or there's also an initial position here, I should add, but we're just going to assume that we'll set our origin here to be 0, 0. So this is going to, this will, will get to zero, so this is also going to be zero, plus um, uh, the v naught in the y direction times time minus one-half g t squared. And that's because uh, there's constant acceleration due to gravity, and uh, 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 the equations of motion for projector are such that you'll get this, uh, this behavior for... How, it, how under constant acceleration, what happens to an object um, in time. And by the way, I'm not going to go into great detail on, on where this comes from. So if you haven't seen this, uh, there's some other videos on projectile motion. So, this is, but so this, this is really the standard equations for projectile motion. Okay, so let's now, so let's just rewrite those equations um, over here. So we have x equals v naught, and I'm going to substitute in the values for the angle, cosine alpha times time, and we have y equals v naught sine alpha times time minus one-half gt squared. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in for time in this second equation. So we're going to be left with y equals v naught sine alpha, and now t time is going to be x over v naught cosine alpha. So that's kind of convenient. The velocity cancels, and then over here we're going to have one half g t squared, and t now is x squared over v naught squared cosine alpha. So notice, so now let's just rewrite this. We have y equals tangent alpha times x 
minus one half g over v naught squared cosine alpha times x. Okay, uh, x squared. So notice that this is the equation of a parabola, okay, and this is in Cartesian coordinates. Okay, um, and then if we actually now look at the line, so let's take a look at the line. Um, so by the way, then let's let's take a step back and say, what are we trying to do? We're trying to figure out the optimal angle uh, um, to send off this projectile at, um, and we such that we go as far along as possible. So. We can see that this is going to be a this the, the projectile is going off in some sort of parabola. At some point, it's going to hit the ground. So, and that ground is on a slope. So, if we look at the, w w what we might want to do is figure out well when does this parabola intersect the ground? So, the ground can be described as us. Uh, it's y equals. Uh, so let's see. We're going over. So if we have beta. Um, Let's just draw that triangle again. So we have, this is beta. So let's just use like a, a segment of the, of this triangle that's one. So this is cosine beta and this is sine beta. And it's in the negative direction. So uh, y is, remember y is equal to minus mx and m is equal to, uh, if, if we assume beta is a positive quantity, uh, we will, well, we can just let beta be any value once. We could just let, let it, you could let it be mx, and then beta will, beta will turn out being negative. But y equals mx, so that is uh, rise over run, so that's sine beta over cosine beta times x, so that equals tangent of beta. Okay, so that's the equation of the line. So, let me just say it's tangent of beta then times x. Okay, so if we take these two equations and try to solve them for you know, solve them, we can uh, we can we can figure out uh, where they intersect and, and then and then solve that. Okay, so I'm going to actually pause there because I think I'm running short on time and I'm going to make uh, section two will be how do we actually go about solving this and what does the answer work out to be. Um, but that's how we can set up the problem, and then we can figure out how to optimize. Uh, um, how, you'll, you'll see that once you solve these equations, and I do encourage you to try it out yourself, um, by solving these equations, you can figure out uh, the optimal values of uh, what alpha should be, such that uh, we can get the ball to go as far as possible.